is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I would like to yield two minutes to my colleague from Iowa, Ms. Bice. So recognized. I think I'm from Oklahoma, but I'll take Iowa too. So, <laughs> Thank you uh, uh, to my friend from Wisconsin. First, I want to say that uh, my colleague on the other side of the aisle referenced a, um, a issue with an election where 624 non-citizens uh, illegally voted. He suggested that that actually wasn't accurate. So my question would be, uh, what is uh, an accurate number? Because in my opinion, one person voting illegally in an election is one too many. I rise today in strong support of the SAVE Act. Since taking office, more than 9.6 million illegal immigrants have crossed into the United States. This crisis is not only a national security threat, but one that can seriously alter the outcome of our elections. We have seen efforts from states and localities, including the District of Columbia, to allow non-citizens to vote. Securing our elections is of paramount importance, and we must ensure that it is easy to vote and hard to cheat. The SAVE Act will strengthen our election security, improve voter confidence, and ensure that American elections are only for American citizens. Specifically, the legislation requires state election officials to ask about citizenship before providing voter registration forms, and requires an individual to provide proof of citizenship in order to register to vote in federal elections. These common sense solutions are not controversial, which is why I am deeply concerned that the President of the United States has threatened to veto this legislation. In fact, this step should alarm every citizen living in this country. And we must ask, why? Why is this administration refusing to take steps to safeguard our elections and protect the votes of every single American? I strongly support the SAVE Act and I look forward to voting for it. And with that, Mr. Speaker, 